Hello guys, welcome back to the new video. So in this video, we will design our fourth screen of our app, session screen. So let's see the screenshot first. So here is our session screen. So we will design this screen in this video. So here in our presentation package, let's create one more package with the name session. And here let's create one file with the name session screen. And as always, we will use a scaffold for this screen also. So first let's create top app bar here with the new private function. So here this will be our session screen top web bar and it is asking for that experimental annotation API. So let's opt in this and here I am using this navigation icon with arrow back and title of this top bar with study session. So let's use our session screen top web bar here in this scaffold. And we will give this on back button click functionality and the content of this scaffold will be lazy column. Now first let's see the preview of our session screen. So for that here in the main activity instead of this task screen let's use session screen and run our app. Here is our session screen with top app bars. So let's minimize this and this also and let's go back to our session screen and now let's see the screenshot. After the top app bar now we will design this timer section where I will use box for this circular outline and then text in between. So here after our session screen top app bar, let's create one more private function with the name timer section. So here in this timer section, first I have taken this box layout to keep both these things in the center. And in that box layout, first I have used this box to make a circular outline. So here I have taken the fixed size of 250 dp and then I have given the border only, not any background. So this border will be 5 dp width color will be surface variant whatever will be there in that color scheme and it will be of circular shape and after this I have used this text with title large as typography and I have override the font size to 45 sp. So now let's use our timer section in our lazy column. So let's use this item block. So for this timer section, I have taken this fill max width. So first it will take the maximum width of phone's screen. And then I have used this aspect ratio modifier. 
and provided the ratio 1f so it will make the height of the timer section to whatever is there the width of this section so then the ratio will be 1 is to 1 so now let's run our app and see this change so here is our timer section for now i have provided the timer as a hard coded string but we will keep this thing dynamic in the future videos so let's minimize this and also this and let's see the screenshot so here after this timer section we need to make this related to subject section we can see we already have designed this part in our previous task screen here we can see so we will just copy paste this code from task screen to session screen so let's scroll down and after this let's create one more private function and let's go to our task screen and scroll down so here let's copy this code and go back to our session screen and paste this code here and for now let's delete this and we will access these things through the parameter and here we will use column layout for these two things so let's use column layout and attach our modifier with this parameter now let's go back to our lazy column and after this timer section let's use one more item block and here i have used this fill max width modifier with padding modifier and i have only provided the horizontal padding so now let's run our app and see this change so here we have our related to subject section we can see it is looking perfectly good so now let's see what next we have next we will design these three buttons so here let's minimize this and this also and let's scroll down and here let's create one more private function with the name button section so for our button section here i have used this row layout so we can put these three buttons on the horizontal axis and here i am using this horizontal arrangement to space between it will place these buttons like this in this row layout i am using these three buttons for these three actions and we will access these on click functionality through the parameters of this function so now let's use our button sections in our lazy column so this is how we will use our button section so now we can run our app and see this change so here we have these buttons when we click these button nothing will happen because we have not given any functionality yet we will give 
these functionality when we implement our service class. Next, we have this list of sessions. So we can reuse this list from our component package. So let's minimize this and this also. And let's go to the subject screen. And here we can see we are using the sessions list here. So let's copy this code and go back to our session screen. And after this button sections, let's use our study sessions list. Let's import this and change the heading to study sessions history. And for now, let's remove this value. Now let's run our app and see this change. So here we can see we have this list of our study sessions. Next, we will provide the functionality of that bottom sheet. Here, when we click on this drop down icon, so our bottom sheet should open. Again, we can copy this functionality from our task screen because we already have implemented that bottom sheet in that screen. So for that, let's go back to our task screen and scroll up. So here first, let's copy this and go back to our session screen. First, let's close this and here first minimize these imports and paste those values here. So here again, it is giving error. So let's opt in this annotation and again, let's go back to our task screen and copy this bottom sheet code and paste it here. Now let's use this value and go back to our icon. So here let's use that value to true. With the click of this icon, our bottom sheet will open. So let's run it again. So let's click on this icon. And here we can see we have this bottom sheet. Next, we will provide the functionality of this when we click on this delete icon, delete dialog should open. So again, let's minimize this and go back to our task screen. And this time we will copy the code of delete dialog. And paste it here. So it is asking for this value. So let's go back to our task screen and copy this value and paste it here. Now scroll down. And here let's make our is delete dialog open to true. Let's run it again now. Let's click on this delete icon. So our delete dialog will open. And I think we need to change this heading also. So here, let's scroll up and change this to delete session. And we can see we have designed our study sessions completely. So in the next video, we will set up our navigation. So with the help of navigation, we don't need to provide a single screen to our main activity to see the preview. We can just provide our navigation setup and it will dynamically navigate us to different screen from one screen. That's all for this video and do subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching.